you've had a pretty good baseball program here the last two years. Does that help you out since there already is a little bit of a base and a little bit of a tradition here? It does help me out. I mean, right now we have our juniors are really stepping up. We don't have a lot of seniors. We have three seniors playing spring ball, just one last fall. But the juniors are setting the tone for the program that's here, expecting good things from them. What kind of baseball do you play? Uh, we play it all. If we have to play small ball, we do that. If we're looking just to drive in runs, we do a little hitting and run, bunting, whatever it takes to get the job done. Pitching is the key, obviously, to uh, baseball. How's your pitching? Uh, we should be good. You know, if we can get outside and do a little long toss, get our arms built up, pitching's probably where we're the strongest, as long as the boys will stay in the game and stay focused. Who's your ace? Uh, probably this year it's going to be pretty tough. i got three juniors that can throw pretty good, Justin Klingsmith, uh, Keaton Tate, and Blake Smith. And then uh, I have Trey Brownell's a freshman that's really stepped up and bringing and, it. And as far as pitching and as far as this weather goes, your guys are going to be, play, be playing back-to-back -back games forever or doubleheaders or whatever. So the key to pitching is whoever starts, give you some good quality innings. That's right. I mean, they got to stay in there. They have to pitch their little hearts out and give me as much as they can. But we're, we're pretty deep at the pitcher spot too. We have five or six boys that can throw and who we're going to rely on when we get into games five days a week and three games on a Saturday. When you step up to the plate, what's your order look like? Uh, pretty good at the top end. We kind of slag off at the bottom end a little bit, but I mean, they're working hard. They're trying to make themselves better and that's what it's going to take. In With all this weather and everything else, you have to improvise right now. What are some of the things you're doing? Uh, we did actually get outside yesterday, done a little long toss. They kind of got a little chilly, but they done all right. Uh, we're just doing a lot of repetition stuff in the gym and trying to loosen arms up as much as we can. Okay. Uh, how do you see your district? Uh, to me, it's wide open. I mean, I don't know. If, if we play the way we're capable of, we can play right there with anybody in our district. Okay. Uh, your ballpark is small. Uh, you know, the teams get here and they, they, they act different because they can hit the ball over the fence. Is that an advantage for you guys? Uh, it is a little bit. They get swinging for the fences, you know, and they'll drive them in the dirt or they'll just make a little easy pop fly. Then one's the outfield I call an easy out. I mean, it's just a long out. You're about halfway to second base before you get to go back down and set in the dugout. Okay. And you're, when you look at it with your players, what do you tell them? Do you tell them swing, just, just swing, just play normally and let everything else stay? It's, Told. Right. I mean, we're there to hit the ball. Base hits. If you can get on base, that's great. And we don't care how we do it. You know, we'll bunt. If you can find a gap, that's fine. But we're not swinging for the fences on any pitch. Are you, would you say you're an aggressive coach? Uh, yeah. And that's cost me a few runs here and there. I mean, I like to keep the boys, you know, they, they like playing aggressive baseball. And that's what I want. I want them to go out there and be ready to take second base if they give it to you or if they get to slacking off. Okay. Uh, how are you up the middle defensively? Uh, we're going to be pretty good. I lost one boy from last fall, my uh, shortstop, but we got boys stepping up, and they're going to be pretty stout up that middle.